Hey, 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 what's going on? This is Sunshine. E. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, YouTube. Come on back in to mm -hmm. E-Shine. And we're looking at and listening. Yeah. Okay. okay, I'm kind of dry. Oh, okay. that's, I'm that's, tired. That's, that's what it is. That's okay. all right. That's all right. More that's, comedy. More comedy. More comedy. I'm glad you what mentioned E-Shine because there's some stuff we're going to do under that E-Shine banner that I'm sure you're going to enjoy thoroughly. <laughs> but uh, until then, we're going to just keep moving on with some of these reactions. And this is a reaction okay. to Gary Owens. Black Famous. Mm -hmm. Not guilty. It seems like we 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 just ain't familiar, but we'll we'll see. But this is Gary Owens. One thing I'm gonna say about Gary. Well, I get to I get to the comments at the end. But um, let's get into Gary Owens. Before we do, do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also share and comment below. So let's go. Before Bill Cosby got in trouble with his scandal, you never heard of a comedian in any kind of sex scandal. It was like athletes and rappers had all the scandals, and comedians we were over here. Nobody fucked with us because we were kidding. <laughs> What'd you say? I was just kidding. <laughs> now, one thing I will say about Bill Cosby, though, he definitely had a type, didn't he? Man, he liked white women. Woo, if it's snowing, he's going, baby. <laughs> I think at one point I read, one day in the courtroom, I think there was like 32 women was accusing him of stuff. Like, and I, I think at one point it was all in the courtroom. It was like 32 white ladies in the courtroom accusing Bill Cosby of stuff. And like, it wasn't just the public was shocked by that stuff. It was like comedians, we were shocked because I was like one of our own. We was like, man, this is crazy, man. Rudy's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one night a bunch of us comics in the green room talking. And for some reason, the conversation shifted to me. And somebody was like, Gary, what if that was you? What if you was Bill Cosby? How would you get out of it? I said, well, first of all, I never be in that situation. Second of all, if you're telling me I'm in a courtroom, I got 32 white ladies staring at me saying I did something to them, I don't need a lawyer. I can defend myself against those accusations. <laughs> Sitting on the stand just looking at me. How do you plead, Mr. Owen? Not guilty! <laughs> well, you said that with a lot of confidence. How can you be 100% sure? I know I'm not guilty, Anna, because I ain't had white pussy since white pussy had me! <laughs> <laughs> The last white pussy I had was my mama's. <laughs> and I have never been in another white pussy since. I had to fight and crawl my way out that pussy and I barely made it. <laughs> and once my head was finally free and I could see and breathe them on for the first time, I took one last look back and I said to my baby self, never again. <laughs> I think I suffer from white pussy PTSD. <laughs> Even my daddy left her. <laughs> oh, wow. Everybody leaves that white pussy, Your Honor. I'm kidding. <laughs> These are jokes. I'm sure my mom has amazing pussy. <laughs> she got seven kids, <laughs> multiple baby daddies. I didn't want to say my mom got that wop. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got all them baby daddies, you ain't got that wop. Mm -hmm. First time I heard that song, I called my mom. I said, Mom, they wrote a song about you. <laughs> she said, what is it? I said, someone sent it to your phone. <laughs> I sent it to her phone, she called me back. How'd they know? <laughs> Streets are talking, Mom. Mm -hmm. Gary, Gary. One thing I was I, I wanted to, I was going to mention to earlier is um, he has a way of talking. I wonder if that's just how he talks or or where he's from. People kind of talk like that. And a lot of people that might sound like a strange thing to say, but what made me say that is everybody. Most people know Muhammad Ali in the way he talked, and I always thought that was a Muhammad Ali till I seen them doing a, like a little story about him, and they talked to a guy that was from where he's from. And it was a white, older white guy. And he talked like Muhammad Ali. So I'm thinking, okay, there's a section of Louisville, I think he's from, 
uh, Kentucky that I guess people kind of have that kind of same talk. And that guy had those same mannerisms as far as not really the movement, but the talking. Had those same little things like Muhammad. Says, this guy talks like Muhammad, but he was from there. So I was always wondering with Gary, because he has a little funny way of talking, if that's just how he talks or there's an area of people that kind of have that same little mm. feel. So I, whenever I hear my, that, that Muhammad Ali thing kind of goes through my mind, I was kind of surprised when this guy talking. Like Muhammad wasn't trying, he wasn't imitating, he just, they just was interviewing different people that knew him from his hometown. And this was one of them, and he talked like Muhammad Ali. <laughs> so, But uh, I wish I could find that so to play it, because people might think I'm crazy. Like, come on, really? But uh, that actually, I actually see it. It's it weird. I'm going to try to find that. Maybe I could play it for y'all. But that's Gary Olden, black famous. Uh, uh, not guilty. <laughs> He's not guilty. But uh, any comments on it, or you... <laughs> You good? Okay, that's Gary O. Y'all tell us and let us know what you think. But before we get out of here, do us a favor. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also, share, comment below. And I do believe that's it. That's it. Thanks for listening to, to Sunshine, Sunshine and Me. me.